how are you feeling? Oh, do you not remember what happened? Well, I found you in the kitchen. Krista was dead. No, no. I don't blame you for it. I don't suspect that you killed her. Quite the opposite, actually. I think... You found her there. And... You must have fainted. But there was a bruise on your head. I think you might have hit your head when you fell. That must be why your memory's so foggy. Careful. You've been hurt enough. Oh. Uh. Yeah. We're. In one of the cells in the basement. Uh, well, funny story about that. I. I brought you here to hide you. Oh, no. It's... it's not as bad as it sounds. Don't panic. See... I thought that... maybe since... you saw what happened to Krista... you saw what became of her. Whoever killed her... might come looking for you. I thought they might try to hurt you. So, to protect you, I told everyone that you went missing. Then I brought you here. I know. I know it was probably the worst idea anyone's ever had, but I did it with good intentions. I just wanted to protect you. I was so afraid. I thought whoever killed her might come looking for you in the middle of the night. I thought they might kill you too. I am aware of this. Aaron stays down here. He'll find you. But I have a solution for that. I sincerely doubt he's the one who killed Krista. In fact, I always thought he'd taken a bit of a liking to her. He would never kill a human being willingly. Unless, of course, for some reason, they sought the downfall of humanity. Krista certainly didn't. I plan to tell him that you're being kept here for your safety. 
I'll forbid him from telling anyone where you are. You'll be safe. The murderer within these walls, they won't know where you... What? <laughs> what do you mean, they already know? Oh dear. <laughs> so, you finally remember. What a pity. I was hoping you would stay here willingly. This complicates things, but the outcome is still the same. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't be too keen on the idea that Aaron will help you. All it takes is some shackles around your wrists and ankles and a makeshift gag tied in your mouth. That will keep you quiet and keep you from running away. In addition, It will provide sufficient evidence in proving to Aaron that you're just like him. That you can turn into a titan at will. I'll tell him that you're being kept here for your protection against the government. He'll completely believe it. He knows how dangerous this power is. <laughs> oh, he'll definitely question why you're chained up. Why you're gagged. And I'll explain to him that you have a nasty habit of trying to escape because you're going a little crazy from being trapped down here. He'll believe that as well. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. You and I both know this. <laughs> he won't tell anyone that you're here. Do you know why? Because if everyone knows that you're here, they'll begin acting suspicious. And eventually, someone outside of the Survey Corps might find out, and then you run the risk of being executed. He doesn't want that. He'll believe that you're using your power to help humanity, and humanity needs all the help it can get. Why am I doing this? Don't you get it? I don't want you to run from me. Now that you know what I'm capable of. I had to find some way to keep you close. And what better way than locking you up so you can be mine forever. 
so you can never leave me. <laughs> I'm well aware of the fact that I'm crazy. Funny thing is, I just can't seem to bring myself to care. So you shouldn't care either. Because this is your life now. I've made sure nothing will change that. The sooner you accept it, the sooner you can be happy here. Believe me, I have ways of making you happy here. I love you after all. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure you are comfortable, safe, and happy. Even if it means locking you up and throwing away the key. <laughs>